Hi, I'd like to explain to you how to deal with the problem which crops up from time to time using iTunes and that's the appearance of these greyed out exclamation marks next to each track. Uh, when this appears you can't play the tracks and in all probability an error message will appear. You won't be able to synchronise your iPod or Apple TV. Basically what's happened is that I've lost the connection between iTunes and the physical location, the music, which in this instance is stored on a freestanding hard drive. Uh, you'll find now if you were to connect to your iPod you wouldn't be able to synchronise it and there is a danger that you'll lose everything that is on the iPod. So at this stage it's best not to connect the iPod at all. It's relatively easily corrected. First step is to empty the existing library. So select all the tracks in the library and delete those. It looks a bit drastic, but we'll get them all back in a minute or two. There we go, that's emptied that. Second is to check the settings and the preferences section. Now this is where we're going to be storing the music. This is an important box here. If you tick that and the location for your music folder is a freestanding hard drive or the location from which you're going to be uh, importing the music, there's a danger that you end up with all your tracks copied twice. So at this stage I say leave that unticked, so that's okay. Second thing to do is to make sure that the drive with the music on is actually attached to your computer. So plug the drive in, let's check that it's there. Any second it should appear. There we go, the drive's arrived. So the next thing to do is to import the music from the hard drive back into the iTunes music library. That's the add to library command uh, if you're using a Mac or if you're using Windows, it's file, add folder to library. Then navigate through to where the music is stored. That's where it is. Select that. And very quickly, the music is recovered. You should at this stage be able to play the music. And obviously it's now safe to synchronise your iPod and probably your Apple TV will start to synchronise automatically. So, there we go.